it's your girl Toya and I'm coming at you guys with a video. It's basically a versus. Um, I have Pop Belly here and I have Subway here. Um, both of them are tuna fish sandwiches. Um, we're going to taste each and see which one is the best. Now I have had Subway before but I have never had Pop Belly's tuna before. I've had Pop Belly sandwich but never the tuna. So this will be my first time trying them. I also got cookies. Um, and I have a cookie as well from Subway. So, um, the only difference about the sandwiches is Pop Belly does not have spinach or cucumbers or bell peppers. Um, so, the, I, I didn't have that option to put on here. And then this one has everything. It's just a loaded sandwich. Um, and uh, this one is a big one. And this is just a regular six inch. Um, that's what they call the sandwiches at Pop Belly. You either get a big or you get a little. Now, I don't know the inches there. I, I, looking at this one, it's a, it's like that much different. You guys see, it's, it's not a whole hell of a lot bigger than a six inch at, at Subway. You guys see? So, I don't know what this is. Is it a big one? It's probably, I think I remember them saying something about nine inches. So, this is supposedly six and that's a questionable six because I've heard that it's really like five so, so um yeah it's a couple more inches on this one but what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste each and we're gonna see which one we like I already know how this one tastes but I'm still gonna take a bite of that one first so let me just get on into it and then I'm gonna kind of see if I can try to get you guys a close-up of each sandwich so that you guys can see. I'm not going to eat them both. I'll just save one for tomorrow or whatever. But I am going to taste each to see. And I am about to show you guys each. I did not get any chips. That's a crazy thing. I normally always have chips. Okay, this is the tuna from Pop Belly. And that's the cookie. Both sandwiches are toasted, although they may not be hot anymore. Okay, and this is this one. That's how the tuna looks over there. And they cut it in half, as you can see. And I guess I'll turn this one around so you guys can see the good stuff. And then this is how this one is. Now I get my tunas loaded. My tunas have everything on it. I so, I'm going to take a bite of the uh, tuna first, just to see. I really wanted some chips, y'all. Um, I can't believe I forgot to get chips. Okay, so I'm going to take a bite of the Subway tuna. I'm probably going to have to take a leaf. You want to two more bites? Because I'm not at the good part yet. I already know how slow weight tastes. We'll talk about price too. Okay. So let's get to Pop Bellies. Pop Bellies just be so good looking. I don't know. <laughs> See, I got pepper and everything from this one. So I got to get into this <clears throat> so I can really see. So far, let's take another bite. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to tell you. It's not too much of a difference, but I do taste them. Okay, the problem is with pot belly, they don't match their tuna up enough. So, I can taste chunks of it that hadn't got mixed in good with the mayo. It's just like chunks of tuna. 
um, not a lot of mail in their tuna. Subways be like a mush. <laughs> so, but let's get another bite of this. Maybe we can get some good stuff. Some good old peppers and stuff in it. Bread is softer over there. This is a multi-grain and this is just wheat. Um, yeah, I think I like Subway. Let's get in one more bite of this. I don't know. As much as this one seems like it has so much stuff on it, really nice and juicy, I don't taste a lot of juiciness. It seems like the tuna is, or the tuna itself is a little dry, so I'm glad I got the other stuff on it. Okay, let's get one more bite of this one. Hopefully I can bite into some peppers or something. I gotta give it to Subway. Oh, Subway just seems juicier. Like I said, the only thing that's not on this sandwich is cucumbers, spinach, and bell peppers. This one has extra crunchy shit, and it still seems to be juicy. So, I think I like Subway's. Yeah, I'm giving it to Subway. Subway bread seems softer. So, I would advise you, if you like tuna sandwiches, go to Subway, get you a tuna sandwich, toast it, American cheese or whatever type of cheese you like, and get everything on it. I'm talking about everything. If you want olives, get olives, spinach, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, everything. Everything, even the oils and everything. I really feel like it's the tuna itself. I feel like they didn't put enough mayo in the tuna to make it a tuna salad. It's a kind of dry tuna. Seems a little bland. This seems like it's seasoned good. Subway wins. <laughs> okay, um, so let's talk about prices. Pop Belly charges you for the big sandwich. Well, I actually have a small sandwich to give you the price of that. The small uh, costs uh, $7.99. With taxes and everything, it goes to $8.85 for a small. Um, and then for the Subway, of course, you know that they are $5.49. How much is the cookies? Oh, I got three, three cookies for a dollar. And that brought me to a total of $6.09. Now, I had to go to another Pop Belly and get my cookie from that place. How much was the cookie? The cookie was $3.38 over here. So, overall, Pop Belly is more expensive um, than Subway. Okay? But you are getting a little bit more of a... Of a uh, um, the... the uh, the whole atmosphere. You're paying for that. Here's the cookie. So let's talk about cookies. All right. Y'all want to see the cookie or do I just have to open it up and eat it? Okay. This is a sugar cookie. And the reason why it's so much higher than the Subway one because it's a big cookie. It looks like somebody took a bite out of this cookie. Where's the other part? Bruh. Ain't no other part in here. That looks like a perfect bite, don't it, y'all? Am I tripping? I'm not eating. Hot belly, y'all. Ooh, what's going on? 
I'm not eating it. It looked like it looked too perfect. Luckily, I bought my daughter one, and uh, we're gonna look at that cookie because I don't know about that one. I mean, it was closed. It didn't look like it ever was open, and they had to take the tag off. But I didn't see no other piece to it. It just seemed too perfect to have been just, you know, crumbled apart. Like, come on, look at that. Don't that look like a little baby teeth is that? I don't know about that. That scares me. So I just spent three dollars for nothing. Because I don't think I'm gonna eat it. Okay, so here's another one. You know, this one's a whole cookie, as you can see, nothing's bit off of it. Um, they're pretty soft. Um, and they have like sugar crystals on them. And then, so you get this big old cookie. Like, I really don't know where to go with that. Y'all, do y'all think somebody bit my cookie? <laughs> I mean, they have these little tags, so you, you know, it can, you can tell nobody's been in your little baggie, but I don't know. Could have been some dirty ass employee did it before they put it in the back package. And then you get three cookies from Subway, okay? Subway cookies are pretty soft, too. Let me just break one for y'all. See, very soft. So basically you're getting three cookies for a dollar, which equals out to that one big cookie, actually a little bit more, I would say. And um, it's not three dollars for that. <laughs> so Pop Bellies once again loses because you're getting three cookies for a dollar. And if you put all of these together, it would be the same damn size as the damn big cookie. So um, Subway wins again. So let's talk about taste. Who's taste the better? Both, both, uh, best. Uh, both of them are soft. So let's see. This one's a little crunchy on the edges. I don't like my cookies like that. I like my cookies super soft. Now, oh, once again, this one is macadamia nut too. They don't have sugar cookies at Subway, so uh, the, the closest thing. That pissed me off about my cookie. Because that, just like both cookies together, if one cookie costs three something, I can spend six something dollars for some cookies and I can't even eat both of them. Okay, so I already knew how Pop Belly cookies taste. And I already know how Subway taste. But, um, give me some water, y'all. I don't know why I'm shaking up water. <clears throat> Um, yeah, let's taste macadamia nut. Oh, it's so much softer. I didn't taste the peanut, but I didn't mess up. I taste some cinnamon on that cookie. Like maybe it got mixed up with something else. That's another bite. I didn't taste a single nut. And that's probably your macadamia nut. Um, I don't know. I think this could be better. Even though. It's much crunchier. I think that cookie would have been softer the one that's bit on. Bit off. <laughs> so. I don't know. I'll give the cookie a win on Pop Belly side. And I will give uh, the sandwich a win on the Subway side. That is it, y'all. Um, did you guys want to want to stay while I eat my sandwich or no? I don't know. I'm going to package this one up, though, because I'm done with sub uh, pot belly. I don't have anything else to talk about unless you guys want to talk about celebrities. Have y'all been watching um, Ghost Power Book? Whatever it is. Called. What is it called? Anyway, you know, the whole Power series. 
the new one with with the sun have you guys been like watching and following that one i haven't i really wasn't interested that much but i'll be interested for uh method man y'all i don't know what happened with that man i never i never checked for him back in the what is it, late 90s, early 2000s, or whatever, whenever he was out, excuse me, with all this rattling, um, I never checked for him like that, I never looked at him that way, I, I think it was because Method Man was always high with red men, and you know, they was the goofballs, so women ain't too much attracted to goofballs, so I never looked at him that way, but Ooh, I don't know what's going on, but that man is fat. Okay, fine. Now, I seen an episode the other day, and he was making love to the, the uh, well, cheating on his wife in the in the series. Um, because he's a lawyer, and he's cheating on his wife with this other lawyer, whoever she is. And baby, I was like, oh, Lord. I don't know where you just came up from being this fan. Like, what? I, I don't understand it. Like, I guess that's what guess that's what getting your life together is slowing down on the weed and you know starting to live a healthy life growing up maturing i don't know but he, he he's aging like fine wine i'm telling y'all he's so sexy and he's 49 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm trying to tell anybody else from people Somebody told me on Facebook when I said it. They're like, he always been fine. I'm like, I didn't know. I was asleep. <laughs> I'm like, I guess I was looking at Tupac or something when he was out. I don't know what I was doing. But I sure in hell didn't look at him. I don't know who the hell was I looking at. Cause I ain't like R. Kelly like that. I ain't, um, you know, I did have a crush on like, was it Devontae and Jodeci? And I think I like, I like KC. KC, which one is the one that's the skinny, uh, dark one? I used to love him. I'm really missing some chips. Y'all, ruffle chips go good with this. Cheese ruffle chips. What is it? Cheddar, cheddar cheese ruffles. Try with this. <clears throat> oh. So, he's sexy. And then I watched an interview with Brat and Candy. Um, you turned around and sent the interview, or well, not the interview? I don't know what this was. This is Lisa Ray's show. And they quarantined, and so everybody's on a Zoom. And I guess it was Lisa Ray's birthday. And the brat came on to say happy birthday. Um, and she was pissed off at the brat. She like scolded her. Like, is that the word? Man, she, she snapped out so hard on brat. I felt sorry for brat. And brat don't seem like the type of girl that's confrontational. She seems like she's just like really sweet and just nice and mellow and I don't know. I don't want to feel like she will let you run over her, but I guess she got a lot of respect for her older sister. And, um, she didn't say shit back, really. The clip that I seen, I need to really go see the actual show and see. But Lisa Wright did her so bogus. I felt sorry for the brat. She was mad because she felt like the brat should have came out Well, not that she shouldn't have came out, but she should have called her and told her she was going to do it. It's like, bitch, the brat, what, 40-something? Damn near 40. If she, I think she in her 40s or late 30s. She ain't got to call you and tell you shit. But she did say this, too. She was like, she hadn't talked to, um, she hadn't talked to the brat. I mean, yeah. She hadn't talked to the brat in months. So she threw that jab at her too. Now, I don't know what's going on that you ain't talked to your sister. 
And y'all understand connected. Then they said that the black girlfriend, or whoever she is, fiance, whatever she is, she has something to say. Girl, you don't want to go there with uh, Lisa. She'll beat your fat ass. <laughs> that is not your business. She jump out on the brat, and the brat don't know how to talk up and talk uh, and defend herself. That's a family issue. That ain't got shit to do with you. If, if my baby daddy got into it with his older brother, I ain't finna say shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's between them two. Mm-mm. Now, if he come trying to attack my baby daddy, I don't even talk to my baby daddy, but I'm just saying, if we was together, and you know, if he come over and try to attack my baby daddy, I'm going to try to break that shit up because now you're going too far. But if he talking all his big shit from over there, don't tell you that shit about me. We cool. That's a family issue. She better get her big hippie ass on and leave them alone. Let them work out on their own, their own differences. You ain't got shit to do with that. She supposed to post something on Facebook because she was pissed off at, I guess, how Lisa Ray was talking to the brat. Girl, not Facebook, Instagram. Girl, shut up. <laughs> they sisters, they been sisters longer than you. been brat woman, what, a year? <laughs> Maybe two So, you just shut up and let them do their own thing. But, um, yeah, she was kind of, like, harsh on, on the brat. Um, she didn't have to go in on her like that. <clears throat> she could have just been like, girl, I'm mad at you. I'm going to call you when I get off here. And, and what's the thing with that? You said the brat ain't called you in two months, um, in months, and you ain't talked to her. What's wrong with you? Why you can't call her? She probably feel like she always call you. You don't ever call her and check up on her. You could pick up the phone too and call the brat. Like, girl, where you at? What's been going on with you? I ain't talking to you. Why you ain't been calling me? But why we ain't been talking or hanging out, making a lunch date, seeing each other at all? It go both ways. It go both ways. You can't just get mad at her because she ain't called. She ain't called you in months. Well, what about you? Why you ain't called her in months? That's probably what she's doing for me. Like, I ain't calling her, she don't call me. You know? So that's it, y'all. Because <laughs> this was not supposed to be that type of uh thing. I wasn't supposed to be sitting here talking about no celebrities. I was going to just tell y'all who won. And that was it. I'm finna go, y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> don't forget. To like, comment, y'all can comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm trying, y'all, I'm trying to pump out these videos. Y'all don't know what I have to go through to get these sandwiches just to do this. So like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all later. Bye.